Lombok earthquake, at least 14 people died, 162 people were injured, 1,000 more houses damaged. The powerful earthquake that rocked Lombok West Nisatengara, and Bali on Sunday, 29-07, left at least 14 people dead, more than 160 injured, said a spokesman for the National Disaster Management Agency, BNPB, Sudapo Puerwon Ugroho. Five of the reported deaths were children. The magnitude 6.4 earthquake also caused more than 1,000 houses damaged. Until Sunday afternoon local time was felt at least 133 aftershocks, said Sudapo. Spokesperson for the National Disaster Management Agency, Sudapo Puerwon Ugroho, said that until around 9.20 WITA, aftershocks occurred up to 66 times. Ten people died in East Lombok, four others in North Lombok, Sutop said in a statement on Sunday night. Among the dead there was a Malaysian. The victim was reported to be in the restroom when the building where he was collapsed. The largest aftershocks recorded a magnitude of 5.7 magnitude. Residents in various areas of the earthquake were reportedly scattered outside the house, including tourists who came out of the hotel in the local tourism area. People in East Lombok and Mataram City feel the quake with a violent shock for 10 seconds, Sudapo said. Then Muhammad Iqbal, director of Indonesian Citizens Protection at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, admitted feeling a strong earthquake in Senjiji, Lombok. He was in the tourist area when the earthquake occurred. It feels very close to North Lombok and tourists are scattering out of the hotel for fear, Iqbal told BBC News Indonesia. Iqbal said there were no buildings destroyed around Senjiji. He saw some tourists return to the move, while a number of other tourists have entered the hotel. It's a peak season, all hotels seem to be full, Iqbal said. Meanwhile, the earthquake allegedly caused by the activity of Fault Nayuk Flores also caused landslides in Mount Rinjani. The mountain climbing route is now closed to the public. Head of Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics Agency Dwikarita Karnawati asked the people of Bali and NTB to remain alert for potential aftershocks. According to him, the strength of the earthquake that will occur in some time to come will not be as big as the earthquake on Sunday morning. According to records, a number of earthquakes also hit Bali and NTB in 2017. March 2017 the earthquake that occurred in the region recorded a magnitude 6.4 SR while in August 2017 of 5.1 SR. Indonesia is in a vulnerable area of seismic activity called Pacific Ring of Fire. The massive 9.3 magnitude underwater earthquake in December 2004 triggered a tsunami that killed 220,000 people, of whom 168,000 were in Indonesia.